Hey guys, this is Matt from Patriot News Network 2, and I want to talk about the story that just came out, and that is that the DOJ prosecutors, they think they have enough significant evidence to prosecute Donald Trump. Let's go ahead and take a look at this news article. DOJ prosecutors think they have enough sufficient evidence to charge Trump. Report. Former Attorney General Bill Barr indicated in a Fox News appearance last week that DOJ had nearly reached a point at which it could make a case against the former president. All right, guys, before we go any further, I want to show you this video of Bill Barr saying this. Do you have a view on how it ends? Yeah, I think, you know, as I've said all along, there are two questions. Will the government be able to make out a technical case? Will they have evidence by which that, that they could indict somebody on, including him? And I that's the first question. And I think they're getting very close to that point, frankly. Uh, but I think at the end of the day, there's another question is, do you indict a former president? What will that do to the country? What kind of precedent will that set? Mm -hmm. Will the people really understand that this is not, you know, failing to return a library book, that this was serious? And so you have to worry about those things. And I hope that those kinds of factors will incline the administration not to indict him, because I don't want to see him indicted mm -hmm. as a former president. Uh, but I also think they'll be under a lot of pressure to indict him because, you know, one question is, look, if anyone else would have gotten indicted, why not indict him? And uh, Bill Barr, what a good guy looking after Donald Trump's best interests, believing that the DOJ shouldn't prosecute uh, uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> I don't think anyone's believing that. I think he's part of the deep state and he's no good. But guys, let's go ahead and read some more of this article. Prosecutors with the Department of Justice reportedly believe they have significant evidence to charge former President Donald Trump with obstruction of justice. Bloomberg, citing people familiar with the matter, says uh, prosecutors handling the mar lago case believe there is sufficient evidence to uh, press the charge. FBI agents are reportedly divided over bringing a case against Trump. According to the outlet which highlighted that the final decision on such an action was uh, rest with Attorney General Merrick Garland. You know what that means, guys? It's probably going to happen. At least one former FBI official believes the charges will come. Former FBI Assistant Director of Counterintelligence Frank Viziglier told Bloomberg that of all the things that Trump is being investigated for around the country, obstruction of justice is a slam dunk. And it, I think he's going to be indicted. I don't see why a charge of obstruction of justice uh, couldn't be filed by the end of the year. Fox News host Tucker Carlson made a similar pronouncement shortly after the raid saying, when the Biden Justice Department or some other state agency under their influence, finally does what you know they're going to do, and that's indict Donald Trump. Obviously, they're going to do that. Prior the the FBI August 8th raid on Mar-a-Lago compound, a grand jury previously uh, subpoenaed Trump for classified records, an order with which he voluntarily cooperated. Former Attorney General Bill Barr indicated in a Fox News appearance last week that the DOJ had nearly reached a point at which it could make a case against the former president. There are two questions. Will the government be able to make a technical case? Will they have evidence by which that they could indict someone on, including him, Barr says, per the Washington Examiner? That is the first question. And I think they're going to get very close to that point, frankly. All right, guys, that's the end article. And uh, the only thing I have to say is I'm not surprised. Uh, it's probably going to happen after the new year. But I'm not going to go any further into this until tomorrow during the live show on Thursday. It's going to be me, Romeo, William, Shannon, John from American Exile, and also Dave and Callie. So come and watch us there. I'll have a link about, down the bottom description area so you can go check us out. And I hope y'all have a nice night. Peace.